Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Bhupesh. So, what we're gonna talk about today? Today we'll be talking about you know Grafana Assistant, which is a AI agent which is available publicly. You know they have launched yesterday only, so they have launched Grafana Assistant and AI. Uh, AI, AI SRE assistant for your complete observability. So we'll be checking how this Grafana SRE assistant work in Grafana Cloud and what are the automatic features that are available with this AI assistant by and they call it by they call it normally you know Grafana assistant, right? So what are the things that this Grafana assistant can do interactively? So we have already seen uh, things that can be done by MCP in our few previous sessions but today we'll be checking what this assistant can do so assistant is built on top of mcp you know and it can convert all your commands to uh, programmatic uh, you know queries and then it can get it done onto your grafana like like suppose you want to create a dashboard you want to create a panel you want to list see the list of users you want to see the list of dashboards or you want to do some kind of you know troubleshooting understand matrices and logs everything so yeah there are certain faqs that are there that uh what is grafana assistant how to use an ai is it really available in open source so in open source grafana assistant is not available but in open source you can use the llm plugin with which you can do the similar things which grafana assistant can do with grafana cloud and even you can integrate your mcp also uh with the open source grafana perfect so let's see what grafana assistant can, can do i have a grafana cloud account with me uh, you can simply create any grafana cloud account with your legitimate you know email id and then uh, you can watch my previous videos how to create a grafana cloud account now to send some uh, data to this grafana cloud account so that we can do uh, sre uh, related queries i have created a small setup what is the setup uh, in this uh, documentation? I'm installing uh, the node exporter on my Minikube cluster. So I have a single node Minikube cluster where I have a node exporter which will capture all the infrastructure matrices from this single node cluster. So you can see the node exporter is running and you know it is uh, capturing all the infrastructure data. Yeah, so node exporter infrastructure is being sent to Grafana Cloud with the help of Grafana Alloy, which is again another uh, Grafana uh, agent which is capturing the data from node exporter and sending it to Grafana Cloud. And that's it is the next step, which and we are creating a config map to do that. So this is the config map I'm talking about, where I'm extracting the node exporter as one of the Prometheus scrape endpoint, which is sending data to Prometheus remote right, which is nothing but the Grafana cloud instance url username and password right and if i'm using open source grafana then you can simply omit this and then simply give your prometheus url so basically uh, just to give a, a background uh we have set up a small uh, node exporter uh, helm chart which is capturing all the infrastructure data and sending it to grafana cloud with the help of grafana alloy and we can validate uh, the matrices on grafana cloud with the help of this command and then we'll see what is Grafana Assistant, right? So let me see whether uh, the data is coming. So I can see node exporter data is coming nicely. Now to to start or to start talking to your Grafana Assistant, what you need to do? That is my last step in this documentation. There's a small this uh, you know icon which is coming since yesterday on to uh, Grafana version twelve. So that is the minimum. Uh, requirement the moment you hit this uh, you will be asked to accept uh, the uh, you know terms and conditions for the first time since i've already done it for you so you know it will not be appearing now since it is friday afternoon which is 15th of august today you know, the independence day in india so now i already have a node exporter matrices coming so let me see what are the commands that i can prompt so let me say please create a dashboard for infrastructure monitoring uh, of a cluster right so let me see whether this is doing something or not for me so i'm saying can you please create a dashboard for infrastructure monitoring of cluster having said that i already have a node exporter uh, i would say uh, matrices that are there on my uh, grafana since it has released yesterday only so i'm just trying to evaluate how it is working 
right now it is it is it, it is running everything in verbose mode you see it is checking the container matters general cluster health right so perfect i can see we have a good set of node level matrices let me also check for any job levels now you see it has quickly you know created a dashboard called as infrastructure monitoring cluster overview now it will start add you know adding the panels in this okay create a new dashboard so we can see so this is really helpful for the people who are pretty much new to grafana who don't know prompt ql log ql and trace ql queries and want to simply um, ask certain questions from grafana assistant or mcp server and then uh, they get get their job done quickly right now uh, they are uh, you know this assistant is validating queries now you see the four panels has been created so and it has a data also let me do it for last 30 minutes yeah the data the cpu usage system load average memory usage disk usage now you see it is adding some more panels everything is happening automatically i am not running anything right disk read throughput disk read write now node status also it is giving node status system uptime open file descriptors so all these panels have been created automatically right now let me add the final batch of panels so infrastructure monitoring dashboard has been created cpu load usage system memory everything has been created you see this is really great you know work which grafana has done in creating this grafana assistant which i really personally like it so it has created an infrastructure monitoring dashboard which with with all the pre dot pre populated you know data now let's ask something else okay uh, for me it was not showing data so i asked this stupid question but in this it is showing data now list on the users in this grafana so let's see how many users are there in this grafana so it will just simply go ahead and uh, run that api call of a user so it will tell me only there's only one user in this grafana which is admin good list down the data sources which are there in this grafana right now it will list down the data sources how many data sources are available so it is listing down the data sources right which is available in this uh, grafana cloud instance right no there are uh, so there are actually prometheus loki tempo pyroscope and these are the different data sources that are there so good i think that is really good thing now i will ask another question now suppose you have uh, so much of matrices coming uh, to your grafana instance and you want to optimize the uh, matrices suppose you do not know how many matrices are really important or not important so i'm saying i'm saying can you op please optimize my alloy config to keep only the relevant matrices so where is my alloy config so this is my alloy config map where i'm sending all the node exporter data to this grafana cloud so i'll paste my grafana alloy config and then i'll say can you please optimize the alloy config to keep only relevant matrices now it is doing the understanding of your uh, config map basically it may give you filtration on the basis of uh, what is needed what is not needed and so on right so that is really cool feature which i really like so it will remove the matrices that are not needed or uh, you know from cardinality perspective and that will uh, help you to you know minimize the cost okay so uh, is he saying i will help you to optimize your alloy config to keep only the relevant matrices that are really needed right in the remaining uh, after this filtration what will happen from cost perspective you know this conviction would reduce the metric ingestion cost by 60 to 80 percent while maintaining the full infrastructure monitoring so he it is saying your complete monitoring will be there and it can reduce the 60 percent of your cost because we are removing the matrices that are not needed now let me see what is the config map that he has pasted it right so i'll paste it again here interesting so now what it is saying first of all it is scraping the complete node support matrices and then it is sending to this uh, keep relevant matrices job and then it is taking keeping only cpu matrices memory matrices see i have not written any code assistant is doing for me node load node file system and so on so now i will run this config map to do the updates on my so i'll go ahead and simply delete this previous config map they and then we'll run this new config map and then will i upgrade my alloy 
cannot hear right and then we'll update my alloy helm chart so that the new config map would prevail okay so kgp yeah k del i am removing the pod of alloy okay now new pod is coming so it will send only the relevant matrices related to the configuration so it is not failing anything so which is really nice yeah i will check the logs whether the new configuration which is being created by uh, Garfan, I saw is it having, having, having any problem or not? No, it is not having any problem. No error, nothing else. So let's go back and then see. Let's understand the analysis. How many matrices have been reduced now as I have updated the alloy config and reinstalled it okay how many matrices have been reduced now as i've updated the alloy config and have reinstalled it onto the grafana so it will take some time let me pause the video for that duration see interestingly now i want to show you what i have done this is really magical which you will not see any in any of the video so i have asked him can you uh tell me the uh optimized alloy config so that i can reduce my cost so earlier i was sending 1371 matrices for the node exporter and now after uh, after optimization i have reinstalled that film chart okay with this config map uh, with this uh, config to keep only relevant matrices and i've asked is it now resolved or is it reduced the matrices now the count has reduced from 1.371 thousand to you know 239 distinct matrices and now the before it was 137 after 1 to 259 reduction is 81 percent decrease see 81 percent decrease of cost and still uh, my dashboard so everything is working this is really nice this is really cool feature which i which everyone would wants to do because you know uh, matrix optimization is really a deal and my dashboard is really working nice so that is that is pretty much i want to show it in this today's grafana assistant session which has launched yesterday only and i'm really excited to do a different and difficult use cases with this grafana assistant in near future and i will take something on locks and traces also but today it was all a deal from metrics perspective and i'm really excited for this grafana assistant and let me know if you want to do any uh, special use cases using grafana assistant and you can put down in the comment section if you want any specific use cases using grafana assistant thank you for now and i'll be keeping this github documentation into the description of this video please do check out thank you for now and do not forget to like and subscribe